Hello dear children, welcome back to science class. In our last class, we have studied what is a digestive system and we have also seen what are the different organs that form the digestive system. Organs like mouth, food pipe, stomach, small intestine, liver and pancreas. We have already seen them in our last class. So now let's quickly have a look at what we have studied in our previous class. Esophagus, otherwise known as food pipe. Food goes into the stomach through this esophagus or otherwise food pipe. Now food reaches the stomach and intestinal juices that are present in the stomach will break down food into simple and soluble substances. From stomach, food then goes into small intestine. Small intestine also digests the food with the help of intestinal juices that are produced by liver and also pancreas. Digestion process completes in small intestine. Liver produces bile and bile will help to digest fat. While pancreas produce intestinal juices which will help to digest fats, proteins and carbohydrates. So now let us see. What is the role of large intestine? Or otherwise, let us understand what happens after the digestion process completes in the small intestine. We have already learned that the process of digestion is completed in the small intestine. But there is a little portion that is left out as undigested food. Now where does this undigested food go? This undigested food will now go into the large intestine. Small intestine is a long and it is a coiled tube as you can see here. But large intestine is a wide and it is a shorter tube compared to that of the small intestine. Now what does this large intestine do? Large intestine will hold this undigested food that has come from the small intestine and it will absorb all the extra water that is present in this undigested food. And it will form a semi-solid waste which is otherwise called as stool. Now what happens to the semi-solid waste that is present in the large intestine? The semi-solid waste is stored for a shorter period of time by a part of the large intestine called as rectum. As you see here, this is a part of large intestine which helps in storing the stool for a shorter period of time and it is called as rectum. Now what happens to this waste matter? This waste matter otherwise called as feces are removed from our body through the organ called as anus. As you can see here in the picture just below the rectum is the organ anus which will help in removing the waste matter from our body. Now we have learned that what is digestive system and also the different organs that form the digestive system. So what is the function of digestive system? Digestive system helps in the breakdown of complex food into simple soluble substances that can be absorbed by our blood. Have you ever thought why do we have to chew food while eating? So let us see. What is the importance of chewing food before we swallow it? When we chew food in our mouth, the large particles of food as you see here is broken down into small food particles as you see here in the second picture. These smaller food particles will now go into the stomach through these esophagus. Now when it reaches the stomach, these smaller food particles are again broken down into simple soluble substances. So from this stomach, the food now goes into the small intestine. So all the useful nutrients that are present in the food are easily absorbed by the blood that is present in the blood vessels which are there at the walls of these small intestine. Also, you need to remember that when we chew food, a lot of saliva is released in our mouth. This saliva contains an enzyme called as digestive enzyme. This digestive enzyme helps in the process of digestion. 
Now let us see what is the need of water in our daily life. Do you remember what we have studied in chapter 1 about the importance of drinking water? We have learned that we need to drink at least 6 to 8 glasses of water every day because this will help to remove waste from our body. It will also help to dissolve, absorb and also digest the food that we eat. So now let us see what is the role of water in the process of digestion. Drinking a lot of water will help to remove the waste from our body through sweat, urine and through feces. Drinking a lot of water will also help to prevent constipation. Constipation is a condition where we are unable to remove the waste matter from our body easily. Drinking a lot of water can also help to dissolve the soluble fiber that is present in our food. It helps in proper digestion and it also helps to dissolve various minerals and nutrients that are present in the food that we eat. Now, how do we know that proper digestion is taking place in our body? Regular bowel movement will help us to know whether proper digestion is taking place in our body. Now, what is this regular bowel movement? Regular bowel movement is the removal of stool or otherwise the removal of waste matter from our body. Regular bowel movement will help to prevent constipation. Now, what is this constipation? We have already learned that it is a condition wherein our body is finding it difficult to get rid of the waste material from our body. As you can see here in the picture, this is the large intestine. As you see, the waste matter or otherwise the undigested food is piled up here in the large intestine. And this leads to constipation. Now, how can we prevent this constipation or how can we get rid of constipation? Eating fresh fruits, green vegetables and whole grains along with drinking a lot of water will help in a regular bowel movement. And thus we can get rid of constipation too.